today I had to go get a pregnancy test. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Um, I just wanna kinda give you guys a quick little update on what's been going on. So, so far, no news today. Just kinda like the same symptoms she's been having. And I thought I would vlog today because I figured this would be very interesting for those intended moms that are going through IVF or because they have a health problem and with like gestational carrier. So let's get down to it. Today I had to go get a pregnancy test. And for those of you that don't know, I will tell you. <laughs> um, so the medication that I'm on for my pulmonary hypertension, I cannot get pregnant. So every month I have to take an HCG test and they make sure that I'm not pregnant. So it's so crazy that this week we actually have our beta for Angelica and we want that one to be positive, but on mine we want it to be negative because pregnancy, um, for those of you that don't know, um, there's like a 50% chance of mortality rate if I were to personally get pregnant, which is why we're doing gestational surrogates. So I just thought that was crazy and I was going to bring my camera today, but last time I tried to film in, inside of Quest, they were not too happy about that. So I didn't even try today. I just figured I would tell you guys what happened and kind of like my feelings around it. It's very weird. Um, that you hope that you're not pregnant, but that you hope that your gestational carrier is pregnant all in the same week and that you both are having blood pregnancy tests. Like think, wrap your mind around that <laughs> because a lot of people that do gestational, um, surrogacy, like they just physically, you know, they've lost their uterus or, you know, something like that to where they physically cannot have a baby. And I, on the other hand, have all my reproductive organs and I can technically get pregnant, but the reality of me getting pregnant would most likely not be a good outcome. So yeah, it's just crazy. If you like think about that, like we're praying so, so hard that we get a positive test on Sunday and we're hoping and praying that this one is negative it's crazy and I also like that doesn't it doesn't really bother me because I've been doing these tests for like five years and for the past five years it it has like I won't lie like it hasn't been easy um there have been times when you know, friends on Facebook would get pregnant and they would pop up and say, like, oh, I'm pregnant. And of course, I'm happy for them. But then either like that same week or the same month, I would have to go get a pregnancy test just to prove like I can't get pregnant. And it's just like one, one of those things where it's like a, a monthly reminder that like you can't get pregnant, you know? And it's, I don't know, I, it used to really bother me. And, and it still has its time right now where it does bother me that I like it's definitely going to be negative, which is a good thing but it's still kind of sometimes it's heartbreaking to hear like you are not pregnant you cannot get pregnant um but nonetheless i hope that i'm not pregnant this time <laughs> and ironically these tests fall when i'm on my cycle um i'm 33 years old and i pretty much think i have it down by now if i'm on my period or not you know maybe maybe i don't even know what a period is i don't know so yeah, moving past that issue and everything, I just thought it was funny. I wanted to share that with you guys. Today, yeah, today is technically six days past transfer. And um, for some reason, when I woke up this morning, it was just, I just had a lot of anxiety and I just couldn't figure out like what was going on. Like why now am I having more anxiety than I was before? And I think because it's like, like, you know, one day past transfer, two days past, three days, four, five, six, seven, like you are like, okay, there's no way like we could ever be pregnant. And then now it's counting down to the, you know, where we can't, we could be pregnant. And it's just, 
I think it's like crunch time and that's what's really giving me bad anxiety um and I just I've been praying about it I'm like please just help me with this anxiety like it's getting crushing like it's almost got to the point um for those of you that don't know I I do take anti-anxiety medication but the doctor has also given me like um Xanax for like when I get on flights and stuff and no I don't use it every day and I probably don't even use it once a year but she does give it to me as needed and like t the, today I felt like I might have really needed it I didn't take it but I was just like on the verge of like I might need it because I was just I couldn't shut my mind off if that makes any sense like I was obsessing over everything and I feel like I'm in a better phase right now but I just I don't know and I and I hope that it doesn't continue to get worse as the days go by towards Sunday because I just don't know like I'm trying to keep myself busy and keep my mind off of it but I mean you guys know like this is such a huge deal that it's like it's always on my mind like constantly like I could be out doing something with my kids or I could be like shopping or doing something and keeping my mind off of it technically but it's still in the back of my mind <sighs> it's so stressful because you have so much riding on this one one thing you have so much financially so much emotionally and you just like I physically feel so tired I feel so drained by the whole thing um a few days after the transfer I was like I just could sleep all day because my, I feel like my body is just so stressed out over everything every little thing and I'm not usually that kind of person I don't usually stress over things but I don't know this is just such a big deal you guys I know you guys know that because you've been on this journey with me but ah. Uh, few more days right I can hold on just a few more days <laughs> until we know no no I'm just praying and hoping that we you know get our positive and we can move on and then it will just be another layer of worrying it'll just be the next layer of like is the baby okay in there is everything okay so you never stop worrying but it just you just go to a different level of worrying my kids are five and eight right now and I still worry I mean I worry about them all the time it's just a different kind of worry you know, like when they were babies, it was like, I need to make sure that they're, <laughs> that they're alive in their bed. So I had the angel monitor. And then it's like, when they start walking, like, I want to make sure that they're not getting into anything. Are they okay? And it's like, you know, you just have a different step of worrying depending on the phase of life that they're at. So I realized that I realized like, there's just always going to be a, a part of, um, continuous worry, but I just feel at this phase, it's like, so fragile like everything is so fragile and I just I think I just need to hear the words like pregnant so yeah anyways <laughs> I've been getting lots of messages from you guys that you're continuing to pray for me and our family and I just like I want to say thank you guys so 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 much again um hopefully I'll do another video tomorrow maybe an update on any news but yeah go ahead and like this video give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe below to keep following this crazy journey and see if we get our big fat positive on sunday and yeah hopefully i'll see you guys tomorrow maybe i don't know we'll see check back bye